What is up everybody? The Hunter GT with TheHunterGT.com. That's right. Go check out the website, TheHunterGT.com. What is going on today? It is Wednesday. Random Review Wednesday is here for your pleasure and my pleasure. I love doing these videos, so it doesn't always have to be something metal detecting or treasure hunting related. We want to do some off the wall stuff. I get all this free crap from Amazon, eBay, and these random companies. So why not show them off right here on the channel? We have room for that, right? Right? Hope you guys enjoy these videos. First week we did the Dr. Otec metal detecting pinpointer. Week two was the Meter K TK08 EMF reader. And now we're on week three. We have the DYJ tactical fanny pack. Yeah, a tactical fanny pack. Remember in the 80s and uh, early 90s, these things were the joke of the world. But now that we are all in our 40s and 50s, we could care less what people think, right? We will rock this sort of stuff out. Metal detecting, gold prospecting. And let me tell you, this one is a winner. Under $20 on Amazon. Um, boy, this thing is super nice. It's like a hard, I don't know what kind of material it is. It's like a hard military it is really a tough military style it's got stuff for patches on here what do they call that that mole or something like that on the back here you got like all these little straps that you can strap stuff on i don't know how you would strap it on because that's the side that goes on your body so i don't know what you would clip on or strap on there as it would be pressing up against you but boy this thing is nice the dyj since 1999 100 quality assurance dyj gives you the best outdoor experience it says got a little scan code there under $20 this thing I think I bought this thing for about 17 18 bucks or bucks link down in the description below but look the zippers are nice and hidden the actual zipper itself so they got it covered up which keeps dirt and crap like that from getting in there nice little front pocket here on the front so that's one pocket got a little zipper here for pocket number two it's got two little those little rubber elastic straps right there on pocket number two got the tripod working today you can see i have two hands i got the tripod let me know how that's working for you guys and then pocket number three up here it's got like a little separator here so you can separate some finds some trash stuff like that and then a fourth pocket on the back kind of a hidden one that pushes right up against your body there and it's fairly deep it goes about halfway so four pockets on this bad boy it's got all sorts of little connection points for clips for straps and watch this you can take your pointer here you can put it right inside this one it's nice and tight it doesn't move out you can stick it underneath as well right here nice and tight doesn't fall out and it works with the f-pulse as well you can use you know any style any type size of pin pointer and on the sides here as well each side has a spot right there that you can shove it in like that as well so what you do with your digger i don't really know if you're going to want to put it in here and poke a hole in the bottom it is super tough like i would have to really cut this up with a knife or something to poke through it is like a hard hard military pack type material so it's pretty neat it's got two little adjustable clips i mean it's pretty standard stuff here you guys have seen one you've seen them all basically so but this one is a step above just for the quality of it it's really nice with the hidden zippers the pouches stuff like that they sent it to me they said we'd love to see you review it so there it is the dyj tactical fanny pack pouch all sorts of nice options to put your pin pointer in here on the side, on top, throw some coins, some trash in there. So I'm definitely going to be using this for like gold prospecting, relic hunting. I don't see it too much as a park hunting one. But yeah, for relic hunting, when I got some bigger pieces of stuff that I'm going to throw in here, trash and treasure both, then yeah, this is definitely a nice little pack. Under 20 bucks, like I said, DYJ. Check it out in the link in the description below. Hope you enjoy these quick little five-minute reviews I've been doing. Random Wednesdays. See you guys on Monday, Thursday for the live stream. Tuesday for Detecting 101. Wednesday for the random review. So see you guys tomorrow, Thursday, live stream, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. The Hunter GT signing off. I will see you on the next video. <laughs>